Finally, we finished the Orleans Saga, bro. I'm telling y'all, I'm super excited to move on to the next Singularity because Roman culture is definitely fire. Last night on stream, bro, I was telling y'all how hyped I was to go into this, bro. And speaking of the stream, shout out to everybody that came through. We was like 18 people deep at like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, bro. It definitely means a lot to me, bro. Y'all been showing me so much love. And speaking of love, we had to show love to our master, man. We got some new drip. You guys told me I needed to pick up a new Mystic Code, and I'm on it. You see the drip. Look at her, man. This is straight sauce. And another thing that you need to peep, we're on a cooldown timer for our command seals, bro, because last night I was grinding out some, like, kind of, I wouldn't say it was in-game content, but for me right now, it's in-game content. And it was literally busting my ass, bro. It was either use these Mystic Codes and keep up the win streak, or don't use these Mystic Codes and lose your first mission. And I'm not going to lose my first mission. I refuse, <laughs> I refuse to lose on the story mission, bro. So, them command seals definitely came in clutch. But, yeah, I have to explain another thing real quick because, as you guys can see, I've already completed the first one. I'm a bot. I uh, completed this without recording. <laughs> Forgot to hit the record button. We're not going to talk about that. Between Fate Zero and Fate Stay Night's openings, which one is better, bro? I, I really need this question answered because for the last two, three days, this has literally just been on my mind, bro. I, pro I kid you not, yesterday when I was uploading the India video, whenever I'm sitting down like editing and uploading videos and stuff like that, I always play anime music to get that little vibe going, so of course I can make like fire titles and stuff like that, this is just my head cannon for how I do it, <laughs> don't cook me down below in the comment section, but in my playlist I have the Stay Night and the Zero opening, now me personally I want to say maybe if you, that's a level 26, hello compared to a level 9, like what? If you asked me about a week ago, right, which opening I liked more, it was Stay Night. But now that I re-listened to Zero's opening and listened to it about two or three more times after that, I started to like this opening more than Stay Night's because that was kind of my favorite opening. But now, I don't know, Zero's, you know what I'm saying? You can't sleep on Zero's. It's definitely a bop. And literally this morning, I cannot make this up, bro. Every morning when I wake up, I watch YouTube for about maybe an hour or two before I get to recording and stuff like that. And literally this morning, I was watching a five-year anniversary for Freight Grand Order. It was just like a mini trailer popped up on my recommended. And literally the video right after that was literally the zero opening. And I swear to God, I did not click on it, but it was playing. So I'm like, bro, why is this song that's playing in my head out loud? And I look at the TV and I literally like, oh my God, like it's playing on TV. And I'm singing it word for word going crazy. So I, I low-key, low-key, right? This is, might be a hot take, but I think Zero's opening is better than Stay Night's nice opening. Let me know down below in the comment section what you think. It's always a great day when we could just start a battle off with Gilgamesh on the squad, bro. Speaking of Gilgamesh, I'm definitely going to be dropping a summoning video when he comes January 1st. But that video is probably going to go up the day after just because, like I said... I'm going to be covering Fate Extra Record on the 1st of January because there's an event that's happening. You, you guys heard me talk about this. So January 2nd, there's definitely going to be a video going up about this Gilgamesh because I'm, I'm definitely pulling for him, bro. And I don't want to turn into a whale, but if I got to be a whale to get a Gilgamesh, you know what I'm saying? I got to do what I got to do. Now, this is the one thing that I'm worried about. As you guys can see, if I do end up getting Gilgamesh, the main two people that I'm going to be using, at least right now, is going to be Emiya and Gilgamesh. But the thing about it is, I'm going to be running into problems like this where I fight against classes where they resist. Now, low-key, this is obviously not a smart thing to do, you know what I'm saying? But I really feel like since it's story, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's not that big of a deal. Of course, once we get to like in-game content and stuff like that, or get up in the story. Because I've heard you guys said below in the conversation that um, Camelot is probably the hardest part of this game, at least... I think that's I remember that correct me. If I'm wrong, please correct me down below in the comment section. But I, to my understanding, to, in order to get through Camelot, you have to be built different. And I need my Gilgamesh and Emu to be built different. Low key, what I'm probably going to do is after this video and then during the stream tonight, I'm going to grind like crazy, bro, because I need to get my characters ready. Because I, I'm not trying to get dropped, bro. I'm trying to go through this whole story without catching any L's. I need to, yeah, that's what I was trying to do. But like I was saying, I'm trying to go through this whole story without catching any L's, bro. It's not finna be me getting dropped, bro. Cannot be me. And speaking of people getting dropped, bro, as you see, I dropped Kukulun from my team in the last video because I'm actually getting sick and tired of it, bro. I know y'all say down below, Kukulun is fire. I need to keep him in the squad, bro. But literally every single time, bro, and I cannot make this up, every single time. 
he hops in the match, bro, he gets folded. He gets folded, bro. And I understand it. You know what I'm saying? He's level like 12. You know what I'm saying? It's understandable compared to like going against level 30s and level 40s and stuff like that. But bro, my leg literally level like 15 David comes in and puts in way more work than Kukulin, bro. Like make it make sense. Come on now. So Kukulin, bro, as much as I love you, you're one of my favorite servants from uh, State Night and Zero. I, I got him. Well, he wasn't Zero, but you know what I'm saying. I definitely have to put him on the bench, bro. I definitely had to put him in the bench until I actually need him, bro. He's, he's like one of those reserve players. You know what I'm saying? Like, the coach is like, oh, yeah, we finna put him on the bench. When we need our secret weapon, we finna throw him in. Because let's really be honest. Emiya, their servant bonds are like two of the highest that I have in, out of all the cards that I have right now. So, I mean, I can't just not use Kukulin. You know what I'm saying? But for right now, we finna just be focusing on matching Emiya. Now, I be forgetting to mention this in my videos, but I do have a Discord. Now, the Discord link is down below in the description. And if you guys want to join, by all means, come join up because we do have some other fate people in there who do play this game as well. And I'm trying to at least build my Discord up. We have about, like, I want to say 60, 70 something members so far. So that'd be really dope if you know. If you're new here, you know what I'm saying? If you enjoy what you're watching, first off, make sure you go down there and hit a thumbs up for your boy so I know. That I need to keep grinding out this content, but I'm not worried about that because I already know you guys come out deep and you show hella love to all the videos that I drop. But like I was saying, man, if you want to join my Discord, make sure you come do that. The link is down below in the description. And of course, of course, Alteria is definitely gonna one shot. I don't even need to put any boost on her. I already know what she's gonna do. She's built different for real, bro. Like, let's really be honest with each other. Did she not one shot the wrong or right? Stop playing with me. Okay, I was about to say. Oh my god, that's disgusting. Hello? 120,000? Who's all I'm seeing a friend request. <laughs> I definitely need you. Please. Unless this is one someone that I already have a friend. Because if it doesn't ask me, then you're already on my friend. Yeah, this is someone that's already on my friend's list. <sighs> Alright, Kidu, I definitely believe in you, bro. You're, you're built different. You know what I'm saying? You're the counter to Gilgamesh. You know what I'm saying? That's literally your whole lore. So you definitely better bring your A-game. Like, we need that. Screens need that. Go ahead, overkill. Oh, match, come on. I, I need you to do something. Please. <laughs> Bro, I, I know, I see comments like, don't force her into a DPS role, and I totally understand that, bro. But it would really be nice if Mash just did a little bit more damage. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with asking for a lot of damage. But I do understand the counter to that, because, of course, she's built to be a tank. You know what I'm saying? You can't really be a tank and pump pour out, like, hella DPS at the same time. Because if that was the case, she would definitely be broken. And I'm taking you guys' word for it. Y'all said she's definitely valid when it comes to, like, Camelot and beyond. Because I've heard that her defense is pretty incredible in terms of late game and stuff like that. And we already know, Honoba Phantasm is definitely amazing as well. Um, this is all you and Q. You're definitely dropping this. I'm really surprised. These battles are really short. If you guys want to see more battles, probably like maybe if the rest of the Roman chapter is like two battles per like little quest thingy. Then of course, I'll be putting more in the video. Just let me know down below. Um, I try to make my videos at least 10 minutes, but if you guys want longer videos, of course, you know, go ahead and let me know that down below. But I think this is the fourth battle. I can't remember because my screen doesn't show me how long I'm recording, but this is where I'm going to end the video. Um, I'm going to be streaming some more tonight. Make sure you guys come slide through. We're going to be basically grinding up kind of like in-game content in my service and stuff like that while working on the story at the same time. So... If you're excited for all that, make sure you go down below and hit the sub button for your boy. Other than that, it's been a Kid Proxies, and I'll catch y'all in the next video.